Governor Kay Ivey is reaching out to offer help after a deadly tornado devastated the towns of Fultondale and Center Point. One teenage boy was killed and at least 30 other people were injured. We begin our team coverage with Nixon Norman, who has the latest on the cleanup. The tornado hit Fultondale late last night at around 10:40 p.m. and caused about four to five miles of damage. All around me, there is devastation and plenty of debris. From Fultondale to Centerpoint, the tornado stormed through Jefferson County. Walker Chapel Road and New Castle Road were spots where the tornado did most of its damage. While walking down New Castle Road, there were three different sets of people riding and walking by to offer water and snacks to those cleaning up all of the fallen limbs and debris caused by the tornado. Here are two of those people. This morning, 6 30, 7 o'clock, when we had our discussion, it wasn't about putting a plan together. It wasn't oh. about getting a crew together. It was about coming out here, touching and putting our finger on the pulse of people's pain. People are hurting. It's not yes. about ethnicity. It's not about race. What better time in this country for people to see us all come together in a crisis? But in the midst of this tragedy, you see literally homes level. You see trees uprooted. This is like devastation like we've never seen. Businesses that won't be able to come back. A light of compassion shines through. We dare not see our brothers and sisters go through this today and we not respond. Putting the Valley first, Nixon Norman, WZDX News.